Morning everyone. Uh, it's another day in paradise here in New Zealand and I'm Calvin from the Cartoon Company and we're going to talk about 1UZ head gaskets and I'm going to give you a real simple option of a steel gasket, steel laminate gasket for your UZ engines. Uh, you might not know but I live in a, in a rural outlook so that's the view from my lawn and uh, I'm also a farmer at times, so we have a farm. However, I spend far more time than I should in my workshop. And uh, when interesting things come along, um, I'll share it with uh, with you all. So this little video came about because I have a customer who rung up wanting some parts. He's giving his motor a tidy up, and I had a full gasket set for him. Pretty much always use the standard equipment on these engines because it's reliable. Uh, the full gasket sets are a little bit pricey, but the genuine gasket sets have got all the right stuff in them, and they just don't give problems. Talking to one uh, engine rebuilder, he only ever uses genuine stuff in his engines, and he's making naturally aspirated engines for stock cars here in New Zealand, making 500 horsepower, and his boosted engines, you double that. Of course, for the road vehicles, we're quite happy to get four or five hundred horsepower out of a boosted engine. Uh, and I do recommend when you're doing a boosted engine that you pop some proper gaskets on. So there are people out there that are going to say, hey, I've got a boosted engine running eight pounds. I've run five years and it's on a normal standard uh, composite gasket. And that happens a lot as well. However, I see a lot of boosted engines like a lot of boosted engines that the standard head gaskets have failed because I work on these all the time. So your one-offs, you guys with your one that have done okay, it's not the reality of the situation and far too many fail. So your composite graphite type gasket, it's good for standard, standard NA engines and I've actually offered to take the standard gaskets out of this kit for the man, for the customer and I'm going to swap in some steel gaskets. So, positioning of the gaskets. Now, the cylinder heads on a UZ are the same head. You might think I'm crazy, but the left head can be taken off, you flip it round, you change cams around, and I'm talking a non-VVTI. Move those cams, and it becomes a right-hand head. VVTIs are quite different, but in the, in the early model non-VVTI, the heads are the same which means that the intake manifold gaskets can be swapped, the intake manifolds can be swapped, the top plenum is also swapped, fuel rails can be swapped. So if you pull it all apart, you've got a real jigsaw because everything can go on the wrong side. So just be careful when you're pulling them apart and understand left and right. Interesting enough, I was driving a vehicle the other day with the selfie cam on and I'm driving a right-hand drive vehicle, but on selfie cam I was driving a left-hand vehicle. I was still in the same vehicle, I just on the, the, the camera showed a different side, so be real careful there. So, left and right on a UZ, stand behind it, as if you're driving it. We have the right hand side, and we have the left hand side. So I'm going to put my gaskets left and right as well. So we're going to start, we'll look at the, the composite. So as I said earlier, that is your left hand, that is your right hand out to the side. Laying the gaskets down upon each other, and you'll notice that, uh, there we go. So here is where your oil returns to your block, go down to your sump from your head. You've got a dowel here and here that hold the gasket in place and, and, and hold the head in the right spot. And then you've got your stud hole. So your stud, there was a stud through there. And you've got your 10 studs. Or bolts. Sorry, head bolts. I should call them bolts for you. Because standard they are bolts. And this engine is going to be getting a steel gasket and upgraded uh, new quality bolts. And I've worked with that really, really well and had good results. Now the difference then between the two gaskets um, oh, sorry, oil feed. Here's your oil feed to the top. That's where the oil gets up. And the difference is the, the water drains. So if you just hold it off like that, 
right hand you can see compared to the left hand there's a difference in in the water feeds so the water flow patterns between the cylinder heads is different so now the top the left hand one is on the top and you can see we've got a hole on the right hand we don't small holes in different spots different spots and a hole there uh, that's more kind of gives an example of uh, where the water flows so that's the main difference in the gaskets is just where the water flows but just be careful left hand in the middle or third of the way in right hand out to the side now if we look at the steel shim so these are a VVTi gasket, so post 97, and they work really well on the early ones and give you a quality steel gasket at a good price and easy to find. The difference being, we'll just grab this gasket here, is the VVTi has an extra oil feed up for the VVTi solenoid, but it'll work perfectly well on an early model engine. Apart from that, you'll notice your drains are in the same place. The dowel holes, sorry, the dowel holes are in the same place. And your water are in the same place. However, the VVTi has, the, or the, the steel shim, has a slot over a hole, but that's not going to cause any problems. And on the other side, all the holes match up. All the, all the water matches up. And the great thing about the steel shim is it actually has an R and an L for people who don't know left and right. Hey, and I struggled with left and right until I got a bit older too. Same with the, the other side, the left hand here. All lines up but we have that extra bit poking out popping out which won't cause you any problems and all the water feeds are in the same spot as well all those water holes so if you're doing a boosted engine or you're doing a high revving NA engine a real simple fix or a simple upgrade is to go for that steel shim gasket the VVTi 1UZ gaskets, uh, you'll end up with a kit. If you buy a full gasket set, you'll end up with some uh, composite gaskets left over, but it's still the most price effective way is to buy the full gaskets kit and a pair of steel gaskets. So guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, there's, of course, there's a lot more to doing head gasket job on a UZ, bolts, um, fitting up the, the valve stem seals, all the other seals. But this was just to talk about the gasket, so hopefully that's been helpful. And hopefully it's cleared up a few mysteries and a few misconceptions about the gaskets on the, the steel head gaskets and upgrading on the UZ engines. Uh, so we can actually get the right information out there and you can make good decisions and build better motors. Okay, we'll talk to you later. So a bit of an amendment, because I did say I'd give you some part numbers, and I have forgotten. Uh, so, I can't remember these off the top of my head, but for your gasket sets, your early gasket set, so that's like your pre-95, though I just use the later model gasket set on everything. Okay, so if you do want to do an early one, so that's a Gen 1 engine, your full gasket set, so top and bottom, including the rear main and the um, the cam seals, front crank seal is 04111-50022 or 50023. The gasket set that I use, the full gasket set, is a 04111-05... Let's try that again. 04111-50022. 
50102 or a 103. Superstition, the last number is just a superstition, so they go uh, like 102, 103, 104, 105. For the non VVTI head gasket, which of course comes in the full set, so you're unlikely to need it, but if you're on a budget, just want to do some head gaskets, uh, 1115-50021, and that will be the first head gasket. That will just be listed as a head gasket. And then in the genuine system, it lists head gasket number two, which is 11116-50011. So that's head gasket number two on the early engine. The steel shim gaskets, we've got 11115-50042 for the VVTI steel shim gasket. So that's your upgraded gasket. And head gasket number two is 11116-50032. So there you go. That's your head gasket numbers. Thought you got rid of me, but now this is actually the, fun the end. Talk to you later.